Hope and Dr. Barry are facing the heartbreaking reality of containing an outbreak of feline distemper at the wildlife rehab. The plan is to vaccinate the healthy ones and euthanize the rest. Is there a test for canine distemper? Yeah, oh yeah. They begin in the quarantine with the healthy raccoons. The last time it was pretty loud. There was a lot of raccoons, so um, it's actually quiet in here. Are we gonna vaccinate and check, check, then vaccinate or euthanize, right? Right. These go. So what do we think we have in here? Healthy or not healthy? We think it's healthy? pretty healthy because, believe me, this thing goes so quick. Right. By the time we see they're in distress, they're ready for euthanasia. I mean, it's a tough call. I mean, I don't, I don't want to euthanize them, but at the same time, it's probably better to just Get everyone out of here. I know. Disinfect it. Everything. Everything. Scrub just down, scrub it down down. so that anything that's coming in here it's has be been vaccinated yeah. and they can't just wipe it. Yeah. They're gonna have to like soak, soak the room. Soak it. Leave for a half hour. Come and back. then come back and yeah. and do it. I think we should vaccinate. Stick to the original plan. Vaccinate everybody and just see how things go for the next 48 hours. And don't take anyone else in. Here. No, no, we're not. They're very pale looking too and dry. Very pale. And dry. They're definitely dehydrated. Um, and he's just not doing well, so um, we are going to euthanize this one. It's an agonizing decision, but we've seen enough of this virus to know how it affects our raccoons. Their immunity is already compromised because they were orphaned at an early age. If they're symptomatic, they're going to die one way or another. I think this is more humane. And it went fast, so. After a few weeks, it seems safe to say the outbreak has passed. We lost a few more raccoons the day after Barry's visit, but there hasn't been any more deaths since. But it's so quiet. Just a few weeks ago, all these cages were filled with raccoons. In all, we lost about 40% of this year's raccoons. But between the Mammal Nursery and Dan's Den, we have scores of survivors. I'm just glad it's over.